now comes the question how would you diagnose whether this patient had rubella uh, or or the primary rubella or not so serology comes to help every time you go ahead you do the igm igg antibodies test so you have a clinical suspicion of rubella or you are suspecting so you a person you got to know was having rubella and you were exposed to that now you are scared you pregnant and you are scared uh, that my goodness whether i am going to have rubella or not you go ahead and get your serology done okay now serology comes like this uh, igm comes out to be positive and igg is negative and you are scared to death that this is a primary rubella infection in all likelihood it looks like but what you do is just to be sure what you do is that you get a second sample after 2 weeks because that's the time period igg antibodies usually take to develop and suppose again igg comes out to be negative after 2 weeks in all likelihood it was a non specific igm but always err on the side of caution always err on the side of caution either repeat it take treatment or be very very vigilant if you've contracted it in the first trimester all right next igm comes out to be positive and so does igg after that period of rest that that means it was a rubella infection and it was a primary infection because earlier on igg was negative now it has become positive and now comes the starting of all prenatal diagnosis that you can think of but more than that you know what is more than more important than this prenatal diagnosis this this thing that i just spoke to you that if it was contracted before 20 weeks you are in the most dangerous zone and even more more than that if it was contracted in less than 11 weeks of gestation you rather go ahead and abort the pregnancy rather than going ahead with all these prenatal diagnostic tests because all tests combined also will not give you 100% guarantee of a normal healthy baby which everybody wants uh now the second scenario igm is also positive igg is also positive in the first sample that you gave so now you wonder whether this is the primary infection or not because igg has come out to be positive okay so you go ahead with what is called as the avidity test igg avidity test now avidity test means you're trying to find out the titers of these antibodies is it low is it medium or is high if it is high most probably it is a past infection which is just reactivating because of the low uh, you know immunological uh, defenses in pregnancy if it is medium maybe you go ahead and repeat the sample the worst thing is medium and if it is low again you are in that zone in which there is a possibility of recent primary infection whenever you talk to the patient or the uh, or the couple always use words like possibility strong possibility my strong advice i don't say i do not command i just humbly put it forward to you we are educating our uh, patients to take informed decision on their own you are not taking decision for them you are not calling them for abortion you are telling them that this will be the chance of her developing or the baby developing the congenital malformation so i strongly remind you going against the continuation of pregnancy this is the going to be your language not that you come tomorrow for abortion obviously okay fine now comes the last scenario in which the igm comes out to be negative and then you go ahead with igg test so igg comes out to be positive again you are in the safe zone that means you uh, you had an infection before and it's not able to affect you now but if the igg comes out to be negative that means you are not immune and at any point in time igm can come positive so you have to be on a lookout amongst the prenatal diagnostic tests now suppose this was a primary rubella infection you got you conceived after a long time of infertility you had an episode of infertility and now you conceived and you don't you don't want to discontinue the pregnancy just on the strong uh, you know um, uh what do i say possibility of it being a primary infection the next what option do you have so the option is to go for a prenatal diagnosis at a level of let's say 11 weeks you have nothing but cvs but after that you have of course amniocentesis and then testing for the fetal blood so you have testing for the fetal blood igm okay or you can go ahead for postnatal diagnosis okay and you can understand whether the baby is having the igm or igg in that case you know that's a separate uh, story altogether but prenatal diagnosis you have only this fetal blood serology right 